name is Vicki Reese and I'm an artist and an after-school art enrichment teacher. Today I want to share with you one of my favorite and one of my students favorite art projects and that is soap carving. Now today I'm going to be carving this little teddy bear but also included with this lesson is a PDF that has the pattern for this butterfly. Whoops, that's the back. The butterfly and this turtle. So the materials that you're going to need for today is a new bar of soap. It needs to be in the wrapper or recently unwrapped. You're also going to need a pencil, a printout of the PDF pattern or some plain white paper. You're going to need scissors, a plastic butter knife, a large paper clip, or a black bobby pin. You can see that. And then optional is you might want to grab a paintbrush to brush off soap shavings as you work. That's a nice to have but not a must have. Okay, before we begin, I want to mention something that's really super important when you're soap carving is to never touch your face. And the reason is because you could get soap in your eyes and obviously that would be really uncomfortable and you probably wouldn't be able to continue soap carving. So remember, please don't touch your face. Secondly, I want you to make sure that your soap is really fresh and new and still in the wrapper or recently unwrapped like I mentioned. And the reason for that is because it's going to have a higher moisture content and it's going to be much easier to cut. I personally like to work with ivory soap because it is very moist and it's really easy to cut. It has a really high percentage of air in it because they whip it to make it very fluffy. If you ever put a bar of ivory soap into a bath water or a bucket of water, it will float to the top and that's because of all of the air in it. Now, as you're working, I want you to remember that it's really important also not to try and cut off large chunks of soap with your knife. And the reason is because your soap can break in places that you don't want it to. Try to make small cuts and remove your soap gradually. Take your time and remember, it's okay to pause and take a break if you need to. If you do choose to take a break and work on your carving over several days, make sure that you put your project into a plastic bag or some kind of airtight container so that it will stay moist and soft. Okay, I think that's it for now. You ready to get started? All right, me too. Let's go. The first step is to download the PDF with the designs and the blank template squares that I provided for this tutorial. If your soap isn't the same size as the rectangles that I've given you, feel free to put your soap on a blank piece of paper and trace around the edges to create a template for you that's the right size for your soap design. After you're done sketching out your design, if that's what you choose to do, you're going to cut around the edges of your shape. And this is going to be your template for the outside edges of your soap carving. Then you're going to place it on top of your soap and trace around the edges. I usually like to scrape off the logo with my paper clip or my hairpin before I get started because it creates a nice smooth surface for me to work on. You don't have to do that, but uh, it does make it a little bit easier to uh, carve your designs once you get started. Now here I'm gradually taking off the corners just a little by, little by little with my knife like I was uh, mentioning earlier. And then to get the interior lines of your design, you're going to place your cutout on top of your soap and poke little holes in it so that you can tell where the edges of his head, for example, are, or maybe where his arms and his neck are. Now, I didn't 
trace around or poke holes for his nose, I decided to just kind of freehand that myself. I figured, and I bet you could too, just draw a little circle for his um, muzzle. Now when I'm soap carving, I generally like to start with the outside edges, uh, trying to get sort of the basic shape of the outline of my design established before I start contouring or creating any dimension to my um, sculpture. Uh, now, if you want to take off larger, smoother, and more flat pieces of your soap carving, you can put your paper clip on its side and use that as a carving tool as well. And then there I went with my pencil back in and just um, made the marks for the contours of his muzzle and his face a little bit deeper. Okay. Now if you want your design to be more flat, that's okay, um, but the rest of this video shows you how to create contours and more dimension with your soap carving if you choose to do that. I Here I'm using the paper clip for most of the time, but then for some of the finer details later on, in the video, you'll notice that I switch to a the hairpin, the bobby pin, because the loop on the end of the bobby pin is a little bit smaller, and I can get some finer details with the bobby pin. Well, the only thing left now are some of the little details, fine-tuning my sculpture. Well, that just about does it for this project. Next week, I will be posting a video which will include more carving designs as well as what you can do with those leftover soap shavings. So be sure to tune in for that. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel for more fun and creative art projects. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.